Hi Class 7, this is Ms. White here to walk you through a couple of things in preparation for our chicken wing dissection. So we're going to start with a picture of delicious looking chicken wings and I think most of you have at least seen them. Uh, whether or not you've eaten them is another story. And in this lab we're going to get the chance to look at them in a bit more detail and gain new appreciation for this delicious food item. We're going to start with a picture of the human skeleton and the reason is um, the underlying bone structure of the human arm is very similar to that of the chicken wing and so by studying one we can gain an appreciation for the other. So your pre-lab asks you about the three main bones that make up the human arm and also the chicken wing and so here they are. One is called the humerus and if you put your hand on your um, the top of your arm that you're touching the humerus. And then there are two bones in your lower arm and one is called the radius and when you're holding your arm down by your side like this with the palm facing backward your radius is the bone that is closest to the inside of your body. The ulna is the other bone and together they allow you to rotate your lower arm uh, back and forth. And then of course we have all the hand bones and if we take a closer look you don't need to know all of these types of bones. I know some of you do and that's awesome but um, just know that there are there's an array of many small bones in the wrist and also in the hand. So here's a chicken wing, uh, a raw one, so before it's been cooked and you can see that there are the equivalents to the human. So here's the upper arm, here's the forearm section, here's the chicken equivalent of the thumb, it's called the alula, it sticks out here on the top and then this part here would be like the hand, um, but the bones have been modified quite a bit in the chicken. A lot of the, the individual fingers, for example, have been fused together. We'll see that in a second. Okay, now we've stripped away the skin and we've left behind the muscle. And so you can see that there is a muscle here called the triceps. The biceps, this is like the Popeye muscle, if you flex your arm, uh, this is the one that bulges up, a bunch of forearm muscles, and then here's a tendon and it's connecting a muscle to a bone. Then if we go even further, and now we've stripped away all the muscles, and you can better see the bone structure. So here's that humerus, here's what would be the equivalent of the elbow joint, and so Here's the radius and the ulna coming off. This is the equivalent of the wrist joint. And then all this part here would be the hand. And right back up here would be the equivalent of the shoulder joint where the wing actually connected to the body. And look back at your SM1A notes for the type of joint that the, um, the shoulder is and the elbow. And I don't think we talked about the wrist, so don't worry about that. Here's a schematic drawing of the wing, and now we're going this way, right? So just another view, the humerus, shoulder joint, the elbow joint, the ulna, the radius, the wrist joint equivalent, and then check this out. This whole area right here would be the equivalent of the hand. Here's the alula coming off, the thumb, so that's preserved um, similarly um, to how it looks in the the human hand, but then all of these wrist and finger bones have been fused together to help the bird achieve flight. All right, um, there's a video here for how to dissect the wing, but we're going to go over, over it in class and I'll show you a couple of clips from it and I'll actually embed this this link into your pre-lab so you can take a look as well. All right, thanks!